Hey, crypto fam, welcome back to another episode of Crypto Chronicle. Buckle up because today we're taking a deep dive into a story that involves some wild price swings, a dash of confusion, and a whole lot of blockchain. It all centers around Hedera Hashgraph HBAR, a crypto project that's been making some waves lately. Let's unpack what happened and what it means for the future of HBAR and the broader crypto market. Before we jump in, a quick reminder about Alpha Reports. If you want to stay ahead of the curve with exclusive reports, airdrop alerts, and the latest on NFTs, then smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell. Now, let's get chronicling. Hedera soars on BlackRock buzz. Then crashes. Hedera's HBAR token went on a roller coaster ride this week. The price skyrocketed a whopping 113% in just 12 hours after an announcement that seemed to connect HBAR with investment giant BlackRock. But hold on, things got messy fast. What happened? Tokenized funds on Hedera. Here's the breakdown. A digital asset exchange called Arcax announced they were expanding their offerings to include tokenized fund shares. One of these new offerings, BlackRock's ICCUS, Treasury Money Market Fund. This basically means a traditional investment fund like a money market account is being converted into a digital token that can be traded on a blockchain platform. In this case, the platform of choice was Hedera Hashgraph. BlackRock not directly involved. Now, here's where the confusion hit. The announcement made it sound like BlackRock itself was directly involved in putting its funds on Hedera. But that wasn't quite true. BlackRock clarified that they didn't work with Hedera directly. It was actually Arcax's decision to tokenize the fund and use Hedera for the process. Social media frenzy, then disappointment. So the initial news caused a frenzy. People on Twitter thought BlackRock was officially diving into the world of tokenized funds. Imagine the hype. But the party was short-lived. Once the truth came out, HBAR's price came crashing down by 38%. Archax explains the details. To clear the air, Archax's CEO, Graham Rodford, took to Twitter. He explained that Archax chose Hedera for the tokenization, not BlackRock. However, he said BlackRock was aware of the plan and agreed to the wording of the press release. Basically, BlackRock didn't pick Hedera, but they didn't object to it either. BlackRock still a crypto believer. This whole situation might seem like a case of mistaken identity, but there's a bigger picture here. BlackRock CEO Larry Fink is actually a big believer in tokenization. Earlier this year, they announced a project called Bidal, which is a tokenized asset fund built on Ethereum. This shows that BlackRock is interested in the crypto space, even if they weren't directly involved with Hedera's tokenized fund. What does this mean for Hedera? So what does this all mean for Hedera? Well, the short-term price surge was exciting, but the correction was a reality check. It highlights the importance of accurate information in the crypto market. Hype can move prices quickly, but when the truth comes out, things can reverse just as fast. Stay informed, crypto fam. That's why staying informed is key. Here at Crypto Chronicle, we strive to bring you the latest news and analysis so you can make informed decisions. Remember, do your own research before you invest and don't get caught up in the hype. Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, smash that like button and subscribe for more crypto content. And let us know in the comments below what you think about tokenization and the future of traditional finance in the crypto space. We'll see you on the next one.